The Netherrealm is a harsh place in the Mortal Kombat universe that is reserved for deceased souls or entities that have committed major crimes. It is revealed in the story that no one is able to enter this realm without being evil in nature or having a tainted soul. And as we know, there are countless characters in the roster that have corrupt souls, but not all of them are associated with the Netherrealm. That's why in this list, I have assembled the top 5 characters that hail from the Netherrealm by Bloodline, Birthplace, Banishment, or Rebirth. You see, their souls are already mine. Shao Kahn's payment for Netherrealm's allegiance. No, this was not meant to be. Earthrealm has lost Raiden. Now so shall you. Number 5. Noob Saibot. Fear me. Originally known as Bihan was the first leader of the Lin Kuei clan and hence had a fierce rivalry with Scorpion who ended up killing him in the events of the first Mortal Kombat tournament. He was soon resurrected in the Netherrealm by Quan Chi using a sophisticated form of dark magic which provided him with phantom powers. In addition, Noob Saibot's fate is still a mystery after he was swallowed by the Solnado at the end of MK9. However, he's expected to make a return very soon in MK11. Number 4, Dagon. Isn't it obvious? I intend to kill you. What? The prize will be mine, Taven. I will not risk losing it to you. Despite being originally from Edenia, Dagon spent most of his time in the Netherrealm thanks to his affiliation with Shinnok. His story begins when his father Argus put him along with his brother Taven in a long sleep until the right time would come for them to awake and save the world from Armageddon. However, Dagon was awakened prematurely and that allowed villains like Shinnok to sneak up and manipulate him to join the forces of darkness. To do that, Shinnok convinced him to kill his parents and confront his brother Taven, the latter who eventually defeated him in Mortal Kombat. Number 3, Quan Chi. <laughs> Quan Chi's adventures in the Netherrealm and his associations with its inhabitants made him become the most prominent sorcerer in the game. In fact, it is the reason why the fallen elder god and the ruler of the Netherrealm Shinnok handpicked him as his main assistant to overtake Earthrealm, a plan that ended up with the downfall of the entire Brotherhood of Shadow Clan. No! No! Number 2, Shinnok. Your legacy. You poison their hearts with hope. Shinnok is a former Elder God who was imprisoned in the Netherrealm as a punishment for attempting to overthrow his fellow deities. In the Fiery Realm, Shinnok quickly formed the Brotherhood of Shadow Alliance along with Quan Chi and other evil members, who helped him take the throne and thus becoming the sole ruler of the Netherrealm. From there, the Fallen God began building his so-called Army of Darkness, which he used to launch a full-scale invasion of Earthrealm that was unsuccessful and ended up with his demise at the hands of Raiden. Number 1, Scorpion. Where is the Lin Kuei, Sub-Zero? He killed my family and clan. I will have his head. Scorpion's real name is Hanzo Hasashi and was born to the Shirai Ryu ninja clan in Earthrealm. He earned the nickname Scorpion thanks to his fast and deadly fighting skills, which eventually ascended him to become the leader of the clan. However, when he, his family and his clan were brutally exterminated by the Lin Kuei, Scorpion's existence became eternal torment. Just like Noob Saibot, he was resurrected in the Netherrealm by the necromancer Quan Chi for the sole purpose of avenging his death. However, soon after confronting the Grand Master of the Lin Kuei, it was revealed to him that Quan Chi was the real mastermind behind the extermination of his clan, which Hanzo Hasashi did not take very lightly. My name is Hanzo Hasashi! You killed my wife, my son, and then you burrowed your way into my head, misdirected my vengeance, cost me my one chance to have them restored! There are many other characters associated with the Netherrealm that were not mentioned in this list, 
However, you can let us know in the comment section your own top 5 combatants of the nether realm. For more, make sure to like the video and subscribe to Game Illusion.